Hello, welcome to Anderson's TV. My name is Jack Duxbury. I'm very excited and I'm clenching my fist because one, I'm flying with a Maltese Falcon. Woo! And two, I'm getting my hands finally on the Nord Grand Maltese Falcon. We're gonna rock with patch one, new sample from Nord called the White Grand. What key should I play in, sir? Let's go for G. My GG. Gonna give you my first impression there. Quite shocking that there's no reverb on there and I'm getting all of that resonance. This is that new sample, the white grand. We're gonna keep flicking through, we're gonna flick through some presets here, give it the best shot. Uh, this is the Royal Grand 3D. Can I get a key please? C. C. Okay, that's the Royal Grand 3D, second preset out there. But just to say that there's another video that'll be out sometime in the future or the past with Rob from Nord, where we're talking about the nitty gritty technical aspects of why the Grand is different from the other models in Nord's range. Also, just to add that we've got it set fully loaded up here with the Nord's uh, piano monitors and the stand, uh, just to set it in the setting that we think it looks best and it does look great. I wish I had a Tony Stark style flat to have this in all white and just this. It looks great. But let's uh, listen to some of the different models. You can, this is what it comes with out the gate. We're on the first preset, so there's no reverb on here. We do have the string resonance. And because I'm a pretty legato type of guy, um, I'm gonna put the soft release on as well, which apparently adds in soft chilled out playing. Right. Models, that we white grand and we've done the royal grand. Let's go for the velvet grand and we're gonna, st oh, actually a new key please, Maltese Falcon. B. Oh yeah. Flat. 
The soundboard comes with the included posh pedal. That's what I call it, the posh pedal with uh, all the three. <laughs> I'm never gonna use the other two, but love the sound of that. Silver Grand, can you please? Hey. Hey, I hope you bleep out your name because I don't want people knowing your real name. Maltese Falcon, I let it slip there. But we're gonna go for A, here we go. <laughs> Just getting a feel for this action. If you don't know, they deal it up with Kawaii and uh, Kawaii 5 -0. And for anyone out there, thanks for the guys, if you've watched any of the other videos, a lot of people have, uh, uh, when I do look at the comments, I try not to because, uh, uh, <laughs> well, I do, I do try, because we, we de definitely are trying to get better at the videos despite uh, this performance. But a lot of people were referencing Kawaii actions and saying that well, why haven't we got this video? We don't stock them, but I love that I'm getting a chance to try it and it does feel di different. I think it would obviously come apparent if I was played more acoustic pianos, but I really don't get a chance to a lot. So uh, it does feel different. I'm going to live with it. This is the Grand Imperial sample and we're going to get a key from the Maltese Falcon. A oh. Really trying to suss this action out. Can I communicate it to you through the internet how this feels? No, but I'll try. Does keys feel a little bit skinnier, if anything, than a normal nor Just a tiny bit, maybe wrong. Uh, definitely, there's a slight 
changed to, because I play an Nord a lot uh, and I'm used to that action. So it, it definitely is different. Is it a new world of like, wow, am I playing any better? Obviously not, because I play the same old stuff all the time. But I do, I do feel it up here, I don't know if you can see on the overhead shot, but like triggering the keys up here, as I've learned from Remy from Roland, is a, is a, a differentiating, differentiating factor. So when I'm up there, it just feels very done. And uh, Rob kindly pointed out as well, before he left for lunch to leave me to do this, was that it's got a panel lock feature. That's one thing with this tilted interface. It's lovely to sit at and play because everything's there at a nice height. Uh, that's one of the things to consider maybe between the stage and this, is that if you're confidently gonna go out with this every time, this is lovely having it there. There's no none of this. On my other videos, you see me like Richie Nova. It's all laid out there. But if you're a bit uh, ham-handed and you're gonna be hitting things, uh, Oh, uh, you can panel lock it. You just hold it for a few seconds and now it's all locked. Panel locked, panel locked. Anyway, that was really exciting. You've heard some of those grand pianos. Let's try an upright piano. This is the Amber Upright XL Maltese Falcon. E flat. Upright piano there, we'll just do one more upright. Uh, you get a choice Maltese Falcon out of Bambino upright, Baby upright, or Romantic upright. Romantic upright. Oh, he knows, he's a sore spot, is the old Maltese Falcon. And what key would you romance a, a girl in? Um, or a man? C major. <laughs> C major! Oh, we got an ooh from there. Let's be a bit sultry. <laughs> no, I can't be. Roger sultry. It does, it, it does feel different. It does, I, I know that it will, will feel different and Kawhi users and people are like, ah, but I'm getting used to it. Let's hear an electric piano sound. I'm gonna go for number two, which I always love from Nord. And Rob, in the other video, uh, we shot this before this one, he did allude to the fact they got these new dyno filters. Uh, one of the cool things in the piano section is there's these kind of one touch filters. Uh, that are really handy. I'll just show them to you so you can hear what they do. So say for example we're on a gig and uh, I am playing and I just wanted to kill myself because I'm at such a crappy gig but say I'm on my own, I want it a bit softer I'm not being heard and the guy operating the PA 
you know, I've already said I fancy his girlfriend. I didn't know it was his girlfriend. And I said, oh, she's hot, mate. Turns out it's his girlfriend. And I hit the mid. He's not going to turn me up, so I need a bit more mids. If I hit this mid. And despite my ogling eyes, I can hear myself. And a bright one. So that's on the piano. I think that's so handy. It's almost like you're getting three other sounds every time. Well, it's not almost like, it really is. You're getting those three different sounds. When I switch to electric piano here, I can now access these dynos. So let's hear it without. Uh, I'm gonna play a little bit of... Uh... Turn on the dyno. Dyno two. That sounds more musical than other dyno versions I've heard in other keyboards to my ears. Anyway, a little bit more really sometimes the dyno patches in workstations always have just take your head off with loads of treble, but that uh, let's listen to it again with that with the first one with the second one. And off. Always, I love really quick ways to musically change the sound without reaching over to this EQ section that's over here. Uh, let's have a listen to a few of these sample sounds that it ships with, shall we? Mm, we shall. Okay, it's called the Nord Grand. Not just pianos in there, we've already heard the electric pianos. There's also clavinets in there and digital pianos. It's also got a sample synth section and in there lies lots of fun. I love this. I think it's uh, the way I see this is that you can load in anything off the website that they've got there, but also they've got an editor. So you can load this with your, your own custom samples. And also there's a big community on the Nord user forums of great patches. Anyway, let's hear what some of the core samples sound like. This is how they sound like on their own. So the first one here is a orchestral strings patch. Um, What's nice is I can change the attack. I can also change the release. So I just love that. I love how simple that is. Dynamics filter, let's hear that. Uh. Ooh, interesting. So that's filtered it off. I like that. You can hear as well, similar to the timbre or these piano filters, just really quick ways to change the core sounds. Uh, let's hear some effects. Let's go back to the piano section and hear some of these effects. Okay, we're gonna just check out some of the effects. It's a big section of this piano and one I implore you to have a play on. If you come into the store, you buy the thing. Uh, I'm gonna use a clav sound to demonstrate some of these effects because we haven't gone there yet. Uh, I Let's have a listen to what it's like. So what I was flicking through there, the timbre section now is the different pickups on a clav. I've always loved that. Mm -hmm. 
Cool, so I've got it on that treble setting. I am going to want to run it through some effects, just like I would a normal clavinet. So I probably want to stick it into an amplifier. I turn this on here. Maybe I want to stick it into a Fender Twin. I want to put a bit of drive on it, and let's bring that drive in. Cool, and I probably want to put a touch of reverb on it. Let's pretend we're on a stage. And it's got a bright thing. Anything written underneath a button, you can access that's in gray with the shift button here. So if I hit this, I should turn off the bright. There we go. Let's hear it with that bright, hear what that sounds like. Turn that off for now, and uh, maybe a little touch of delay on there. Turn that on. That's what I love, it's like stomp boxes. Turning it on, dry and wet. Um, and that's actually quite tasteful. You've got three feedback settings, so not the control you get in the stage of setting the rate and the depth, We're still going there with those effects. We'll keep it on the first feedback setting anyway. A uh, little bit of EQ. And maybe I'll just want a little bit of wah. And that's where I should have used my panel lock feature. But we know how to do that now. But you could hear those effects. I love the effects and I was just trying to play with it because obviously my first time with it. And try, see if this action is allowing me to, I mean it's hard playing clav on weighted keys but I was getting a great degree of expression myself even if it did sound rather ropey. Uh, that's some of the effects. Let's listen to some of the other effects on here using a sparkle top Rhodes, and we're going to go e for this. <laughs> Turn on the effects. Listen to listen to the trim. Trim two. This is with the rate at half mast. We don't have the depth and rate like on the stage. Um, oh, there was one in between there. Tremolo three. Oh, I dig it, I dig it. Pan. Silent M, the uh, Pan Pam debate. It's for anyone uh, from Step Brothers who likes Step Brothers. Pan too. Wah that we can control with a pedal. Uh, 
and probably my favourite bit of ring mod. <laughs> but that's not what you want to play on ring mod, you want. for all my canine listeners out there. Second effects bank, so you can combine these two together for the craziness. Let's listen to these, phaser, phaser. Oh, deep phaser, second phaser. Angelina Jolie. Chorus. Second chorus. Mm, vibe. She's gonna. Oh, little secret weapon of the Nord. Makes it, if I put this for a little small speaker, let's see what that sounds like. And then I'm gonna EQ all the bottom out and all the top out and just leave the mids. It's got a deep switch here, if I turn that off. Effects off. Getting an idea. I had the EQ on there for a second, but you can really quickly, so that's with the EQ. Without. Delay. Amp sim. Effects. Get in an idea of it. Anyway, seen you through it. Come in the store, check it out. It's not that much my biggest concern with this little personal thoughts on the grand is why? Why an old grand? Why try fit it in there? I don't personally, I don't get it because I'm not such an action hound, but I get it. If you're an action hound and you felt that kawaii action, you're getting it in, in here, and it certainly is a different experience. Uh, I love the form factor. I'd love this at home. I'd love, uh, what a beautiful alternative to a home piano. If, you, if you're looking at what some of the higher end Roland pianos, they're falling into a similar price bracket. And this is a lot more stylish, I'd say. My, my cup of tea, I'm looking at the Maltese Falcon. He's a stylish bird. And also, like sonically, it's so much more powerful. Like, if you're going to have a piano in your studio, uh, I love. Also, <laughs> we put stuff on it, but it, it does sit very well in the room. I'm waffling. I don't need to sell it to you. You're either going to buy it or you're not. You're probably just going to watch this video on it. Let's uh, find a pre. I'm just going to bit a oh shimmer upright, and I'll play us out with this. Sadly, again, Nord, no demo modes. I'm going to put the panel lock on so I don't. Actually, I might need the panel. I might go on a voyage. And we're just going to reset the camera and end this. Poosh.